Hi guys, yeah, as mentioned in my last video, I said I would do a little sort of step-by-step -step guide to how I do my horses now. Uh, yeah, I mentioned uh, before as well, I used to paint my miniatures on my horses on the sort of three-stage painting process, uh, layers as you should say, uh, without, before I really discovered the washes. Uh, and now I find the washes really do help speed up my paint and, and to be fair I'm actually yeah I think I actually prefer the more washes than the, the layering effect so the only real layering effect I do now is on the flesh tones on my fingers uh, yeah I'll do a base coat a wash then a, a, a base coat again and then a highlight uh, but yeah, I mean, sometimes I do highlight raised edges on tunics and whatever, but yeah, mostly it's just washes, dry brush, uh, yeah, and I say just the, the flesh tones. So yeah, back to the horses, guys. Here's, so in front of you here, I've primed up some figures, and these are the Piano War Games, Wurttemberg, Horse Grenadiers. Uh, yeah, these guys have jumped the painted cue slightly, <laughs> just so in... Uh, get some paint on some horses to let you guys see. So, yeah, starting with, we'll bring this chap forward here, this horse. Uh, so, yeah, this is stage one. So, what I'll do is I'll pick up this paint. So, basically, it's a a prime, if you like, or a base coat of a uh, Games Workshop Citadel Colour Grace here. Uh, you can get the spray as well, or you can also use the the Halfords grey spray just depends if I'm not outside spraying or I can't get out I'll just use a big brush and use the grey sear uh, so yeah the whole figure is done in the grey sear and then normally uh, I normally use a null oil wash just to wash over it and pick out the details but actually on this occasion I think I had yeah it's definitely it's an aggro so I've shared thin down uh, I was using it on something else so I just thought, yeah, I'll just I'll, I'll put that on. But normally, I use, it, it doesn't really matter. It's just to pick out details so you can see them a bit better. Uh, horses are probably not as much needed to see the detail as the actual cavalrymen or the infantry figures, which will have all the equipment, and that's the details you really want to see. But yeah, but again, it does let you see bits and pieces, uh, which I do like before I start painting. And it's a very quick thing to do. Just lets the detail pop out so you can see them. So yeah, as I say, a Citadel Grace here, wash, and then an Agrax Earthshade. And that's the horse ready to go. So, we'll bring in the next figure. So this is the next stage. Oh, just not the other guy out of the way. <laughs> so this is the next stage. So on this figure, what I've used is a base coat of Foundry Bay Brown Light. So <laughs> Bay Brown Light. 42C. You'll see it's a, a like a slight reddy brown colour, but a really nice tone. I really like this colours. Yeah, it's from the Foundry Horse Colour Ranges. So base coat of that also we do I normally use for the mane and tail. I'm using if I'm doing black, I'll use a contrast black legion. Or sometimes the other one is it the black templar. Whatever one I've got handy, there's not much two different things. One's a bit grey and one's a bit more black. But yeah, they're both fine. So I do that as well. And we see this figure as well. We've got uh, now the hoofs. I always paint the hoofs in a light colour because they're well toned down after. And I think I may have used... Uh, sorry, guys. <laughs> yeah, I think I may be using this one for the hoofs. Uh, Vallejo Panzer Race is light mud. The other one I tend to use sometimes as well, depends what I've got out. Uh, believe it or not, it's a Panzer Aces colour again. And it's old wood, which does really well for that as well. As I say, once you get a wash on, uh, they're not so bright. They dull down quite a lot. So that's about it. The other thing I'll do at this stage as well is, if you're doing any white markings, I'll put them on. Uh, black socks as well. I'll do that with the contrast black. You'll see I've put some uh, colour in the, the horse's eye sockets. Uh, yeah, what I do, I normally actually do that just after the process. And I don't use a white, I use a very light grey, light grey sear. 
and then when I finish off the horse you'll see later. I do like a little bit of the, the light colour showing in the horse's eyes. I know some people say, oh you never see that, but unless the horses are scared, well, <laughs> my opinion is if the horses are in battle, I'm pretty sure they're going to be a bit scared. So there's a chance you're going to see a bit of whites in their eyes as well. So, and again, it's a model, it adds, just takes away from the, uh, yeah, as there's not a lot of detail on the horse, it just gives you something extra to sort of pick out. It's a nice little detail. So, as I say, that's that at that stage, guys. Uh, as I say, quick process, slap the paint on, not be too fussy. If you miss a bit, you can all go back and tidy up. And basically, <laughs> stage three, the horse is finished. Uh, yeah, very easily done. I'm not sure how it like showing up, but this from that to that in three easy stages basically. Really easy to do. Uh, you'll see so yeah, so on top of that we'll start off with the non oil wash, which is this one, shade. And I give the horses a real good wash with this. No thinning down, nothing. Just really slap it on and let it sit in the recesses. Uh, yeah, not too much, but yeah, let it sit in there. Uh, and once that's dry, what I do is I'll pick up this colour here, normally, for highlighting the black, which is model colour field blue, Vallejo. And I use that for highlighting. The, the mane and the tail, so you also see, because this horse has got the black socks for also doing that as well and I I, I like the bluey grey look rather than the grey grey I don't know what it is, but yeah especially on black horses you've seen something there, yeah, a bit of dust or something uh, and yes, that's the horse basically finished I mean I've painted in the tack as well with the contrast black paint and again, I'll normally go back I haven't done that yet on this horse, but I would give it a little dry brush again with the field blue, just to highlight that as well. But I'll normally do that when I do the, the boots on the rider. And you'll see I put black dot in in the eye and left a little bit of the light grey just showing in the top sort of corner. Uh, yeah, and for me, tabletop, a nice tabletop finish. I think the horse looks really good. And you'll see the the finish on the horse's hoofs as well. You know, when you see it next to this one, you think, oh, wow, well, yeah, it looks really light. But now with the black wash, it's really toned it down. It looks a bit dusty, and that, that's what you want. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm a believer in the horse being a bit dusty, especially around the legs. Uh, not being too clean and crisp, so, yeah, very pleased with that. The other thing I did on this one here as well, you'll see, I've used a, a flesh tone just around the muzzle again, and again it's been washed with non oil and just left. I didn't really like highlight it at all and in fact for that part it was this one here, Panzer Ace's flesh base so you can use that for your muzzles as well and basically that's it guys really quick and easy and I said I, I really enjoy this method I used to find paint the horses a bit of a slog but now I don't mind them at all. <laughs> uh, I will just bring in another one, just let you see the difference. This one here, same from the same base colour, which was the foundry bay brown. Instead, I've gave this one uh, a lighter mane and tail, and I've just went over it with a light brown. In fact, <laughs> I think it might have been this one, if I remember. Uh, old wood. Is it either that or cork brown, one of the two, and just, yeah, a little dry brush here and there. So it just gives you a little bit of difference from this one to this one. And again, there's no black socks in this one. I've got white ones, now, I haven't finished this one yet, but yeah, I'll maybe just go and touch up the, the little white socks in that one a little bit. As a, the, the null oil has sucked just in the crease, just a bit too much for my liking, but yeah, I would just touch that up, the other side looks not too bad, uh, yeah, and you'll see, that's a, I think that's a great finish for a horse, you know, you see the, without doing the three layer, you know, the darker shade and the, 
and muscle areas and everything. I mean, yeah, depending on the sculpt, but these horses are fine. The Perrys are good at doing this method as well. Can't really speak for a lot of the other manufacturers. I have used it same on Warlord Games horses as well. So yeah, that's that there. And just to give you a little look, another horse that I've been working on as well. This one, slightly different brown. In fact, this one is a Vallejo flat brown. That one there, which uh, that's a really nice colour for horses. And again, just the null oil wash, a good wash of that. And again, the main tail has just been highlighted with a lighter brown. Not did any socks or markings on this one, I just left it as it was. So, same method, really easy, guys. And finally, I've got another one here. Now this is what I would call a dark brown horse, uh, it's got the white socks, a white marking down the face there, uh, and this one was cool duo, a good old model colour burnt umber, another colour that I really like for horses, and again a real good wash with the null noil, main and tail, dry brush with the field blue, again I'll, I will go and touch up the socks just a little bit. With it, with it off white, and basically that's it, guys. Uh, what else could it? The, well, there's a light, a slightly lighter horse here, which is going to be the officer. Now this one was, again, a foundry color, chestnut shade, fifty-three A. So you'll see it's a lighter tone, and I think the non oil works well on this one. Again, I will tidy up the, the white socks a little bit. It's got the, the flesh coloured muzzle as well. Uh, really nice colour for a horse, that one. Now, the only thing I would say was, if you were going to go lighter than that, let's say, maybe this tone here, which is the chestnut B foundry, which you'll see. I've used this in a couple of officer's horses in the past. Really light colour. Now, when you start going to this, I wouldn't use non oil. I would go for Agarax Earthshade. Uh, yeah, because I think the non oil just makes it, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't sit too well in the lighter colour. So, yeah, the lighter I go, I would change to Agrax Earthshade. But, I mean, the rest, of it, everything else is just the same. The dry brushing on the manes and tails, everything. Uh, so, yeah, that's it, guys. So, I'll just move on there. So, that's your different ones. Uh, and as I say, it's a real quick, easy method to paint. Don't get hung up and try to highlight each little muscle, just, you know. And again, if you put on too much wash, you can just touch it up in the original colour. And then give it a wash, a thin done wash again, just to tie it back into the, the colour. Uh, or you could, if you want to take a step further, you could add in a, a you know, like a, what would say, like a creamy colour into your original colour. Mix it up and give it the horse a dry brush, which would... Give you just a pick out on the real high edges on the horse, slightly lighter, uh, if you want to go that further. But for me, I think this is fine. So, yeah, I hope you guys found that a bit helpful. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm not sure if I made a lot of sense. Hopefully I did, uh, and it was easy enough to follow. But, yeah, okay, well, I hope that's been some help to you guys that was asking questions about painting horses. Uh, any other questions, you just pop a... Pop it in the, the comments below and I'll try and get back to you. Or well, there's anything that you're not too sure, I can maybe just go over it again. But I think I've covered everything. As I say, it's a real easy process for painting horses. Uh, yeah, it looks a bit strange at the moment because the, the riders are still in the priming stage. Uh, but when the riders are done, if you look in past videos that I've did, you'll see that it all ties in together when they're all finished. So, yeah. Okay, guys. I hope you enjoyed that uh, and found it helpful. But thanks for watching, we'll catch you again soon. Bye bye.